able to let us know that man shall not live by bread alone. And we thank and praise God that over on this side of town, over in this part of Zion, we have a man that is crying loud and sparing not. We have a man who's preaching and living what he teaches. Come on, somebody. We're in a place right now. I don't care what was going on in town. There's no place like true gospel. Hallelujah. So this is the place that God has designed to bless the multitude. And people are being healed and being delivered and being set free. Amen. This time we want you to stand on your feet as we present to some and present to others the set watchman for this house. Our pastor, our bishop, none other than Bishop Otto Richardson Jr. Put your hands together for the man of God. And he comes to pray for us the man of life. The man of life. Listen, listen, the word of the Lord. But to tell us Scott. So Harris and uh, Sister Harris and to all of our elders of the Fairweather, I'll chase the hill of the my boys. Don't worry about it. Praise the Lord. I've been seeking the Lord. Praise the Lord. And to all of the band of the Fairweather, by the Plowman. Praise the Lord. My name is Johnson. First Lady Richardson. And to all of the other ministers, Minister Wheel, Minister Campbell, pray the Lord. Yeah, all of the people, all of the mothers. We are here. Thank you, Jesus. Alabama said, if you don't start, nothing won't be. Praise the Lord. I started to praise him. That's the order of the day. Matthew chapter 8, verse number 14. When Jesus was come unto Peter's house, and he saw his wife, mother, lay and sick of a fever. And he touched her hand, and the fever left her. He arose and ministered unto them. He's the one by himself. Mm -hmm. And when Eve was come, they brought unto him many that were possessed with devils. He cast out the spirit with his word and healed all that was sick. If you will allow me to bother you in the beginning, tell your neighbor it still works. The word still works. The Bible said uh, many that was possessed. The Bible says, come and hold unto him many that were possessed with devils, spirit of darkness. And he cast out the spirit with his word and healed all that was sick. He healed everybody. Everybody that was born there. He healed all of them. And it might be fulfilled, which was spoken by Isaiah the prophet, that himself took our infirmity and bared our sick. He got you and our sick. Jesus used the word. I like singing, and I like to hear good old singing. But I found out that the word still works. Amen. Yes, Amen. Yes, Amen. And the 107th Psalm, verse 20, the psalmist said, He sent His word. Yes. And His word healed him. The word is what God uses. To bring glory to his name. Yes, when Jesus was 
on his way to Calvary. There were many signs of wonder that he performed. But he did it by the word. In the book of Mark, it recorded that we touch here, there, there was ten leopards that cried out to him because they were leopards. They had to make known that we are leopards. A leopard could just come around ordinary people. But they cried out and to, to say to him, we are leopard. And uh, Jesus spoke a word. And they wanted him to heal them from the leprosy. And Jesus just said a word. Jesus said, go show yourself to the priest. In fact, Jesus didn't even tell him that you've been healed. He just said, go show yourself to the priest. And as it was under the law, anybody that was possessed as being a leopard, they had to be declared to be clean by the priest uh -huh. pronouncing them being clean. But the Bible said that as they went, all yes, ten of them went. The one found out and recognized that he was clean. Yes. And he turned back, he wasn't a Samaritan. He turned back to give Jesus glory for what he done. Yes. Yes. And Jesus asked the question, was there not Ten that was clean. And where are the nine? Save this one stranger. The word will do it. Paul in his uh, letter to those Hebrews writer, he was a writer there, those Hebrews. And Paul's name is not affixed to the book of Hebrew, but we believe that. It was Paul writing because of the uniqueness and the display of the wisdom that Paul had that he wrote the book of Hebrew. Uh, for not being argumentative, we will credit it being Paul. Paul realized the word was quick and it was powerful. It was sharper than any to ensure the word itself was a discerner of thought knew the intent of the heart. It was able to separate the mire from the bone that powerful. It was able to separate the uh, soul and spirit the human spirit from the divine spirit. Yes. That power. Yes. The word itself, uh, Jesus said, my word, spirit and they are life. Yes. I know that, you know, they say uh, people like for you to use a whole lot of different approach and to talk about this and talk about that. Well, that's all right. But the, the, the final authority is the word. And, and Jesus said it in John, I didn't come to uh, judge the world, uh, but that the world might be saved. He said that one that was judged in the end, that is the word. Something about God's word that uh, in an apostolic church get excited over the word. David said in the 119th Psalm, verse 11, he said, Thou word, O God, I hid it in my heart that I might not sin against thee. David knew the word. He said, Thy word is a lamp under my feet, yes, light under my pathway. 
David said it in the same 119 Psalm and verse uh, 165. Great peace have they that love thy law. Nothing shall offend them. I heard him say it in the 138th Psalm, round verse 2. I have magnified my word above all of my name. Praise the Lord. The word still do it. Let the word do it. It was the word, John said, that was in the beginning. Uh, it was the word. When there was no when or where a then or there, the word was there. That's right. The word was made flesh. And then it dwelt among us. Yes, Lord. John declared we beheld his glory as the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. It was the word. Yeah. The word was there. The word was there before the mountain came forth. Yeah. Before there was uh, a then, a there, a when, a where. The word was that? Amen. Mm -hmm. no. He said he have made his word bigger than all of his name. Yes. And the Bible said Jesus, after uh, the encounter with Peter, uh, mother-in-law, she was taken with a fever. Yes, sir. And now uh, Jesus simply took and her hand, and the fever left. Jesus didn't rebuke the fever, but when he touched her hand, immediately the fever left her. And then uh, they brought unto him sick folk, those that were possessed with demons and sickness and all kinds of diseases. I wonder uh, if we could just, my God, embrace the word as it was in Jesus' day. I heard Jesus say in John, uh, he that believe on me, the work that I do, shall he do also, and, and greater work shall he do. Say in John 15 and 7, uh, if you abide in me, my word abide in you. One preacher said, if you do that, you can take the limit of it. But the Bible said unto him that is able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above all, we can act even thing. Yeah. According to the power that works in us. You don't know, you may not understand, but uh, God has given us power. Yeah. I heard it said in the book of 2 Timothy 1 and 7, uh, God has not given us the spirit of fear, yeah. but uh, of power, and love of a sound mind. I'm not going to lose my mind. But I know in whom I believe. And I am persuaded that he is able. You got to know that he's able. He's able to keep you from falling. The Bible said he that have begun a good work in you. That he will perform it unto Christ. John said that in first John chapter 5 and around verse 13 and 14. The big confidence of this very thing. Lord have mercy. If we ask anything according to his will, that he'll do it. We have the petition that we desire of him. You gotta realize who you are. You gotta realize and whom you are. And I said earlier, if we pray, good God Almighty. We cannot reap. But Paul said, Be not deceived. 
Oh, uh-huh. 